My people, my people, my people. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. And and I just want to say again, good morning. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder, coming to you on this Think Different Thursday. What do we do as entrepreneurs, as leaders? We think differently. We don't think like everybody else. We It's not in our DNA. Thinking average, thinking like everybody else is not in our DNA. I know it's not in my DNA, and I know it's not in your DNA as an entrepreneur, as a leader. It can't be. Those of us who are called to this journey as, as entrepreneurs, as leaders, think outside the, the box. We think, we think bigger, better, stronger than everybody else and we do that because of what is commanded of us as entrepreneurs as leaders y'all know this week we've been dealing with the 10 commands of entrepreneurship and leadership we have to understand that 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 this entrepreneurship thing this leadership thing is has a command is going to command from you it's going to command a certain mindset from you it's going to command a certain character from you it's going to command a certain amount of integrity from you it's going to command from you a a certain amount of loyalty and that's what we're going to talk about today being an entrepreneur being a a leader how loyal are you to it how loyal are you to being an entrepreneur how loyal are you to being a leader when we're loyal to something there's there's a a a under there's a there's a there's a <laughs> that when you're loyal to something there's nothing that can deter you from it. We have a loyalty to our family for the most part. I'm not saying, you know, don't don't get it twisted. We have a loyalty to our family, to our family name. We have a loyalty to our friends. We have a loyalty to um, even for those that may be working for companies, you may have a certain loyalty to them. Um, but as a leader, as an entrepreneur, you should have an undying loyalty to yourself. Not necessarily the title of entrepreneur, not the title of leader, but what it represents to you. That's, that's what you're loyal to. When people talk, you get some people that get caught up in titles you get some people to get taught up in names and and you know i'm dr so-and-so and and, uh i'm uh i'm the president and ceo of this company and and uh i'm this speaker i'm that speaker um i've written this amount of books and i've done this we get caught up in those things but as entrepreneurs as leaders I want you to think about today, get caught up in the loyalty of entrepreneurship, the loyalty of leadership, not the title, but what the commands of, what the commands that come with the title. And when we think of being an entrepreneur, when we think of being a leader, I, I can trust it. Man, trying to think, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone think of or consider talking the space of loyalty when it comes to entrepreneurship and leadership. And 
<laughs> this is why I think differently, y'all. I just, I think differently. Because we have to go deeper than a name. We have to go deeper than a title. We have to go deeper than the letters that may be in front of your name or, the, or behind your name. And that's one of the things that I learned about when I was writing my book, The Art of Leadership. When I was writing, uh, The Customer's Not Always Right. And even when I, when I was writing um, uh, Young and Gifted, the, the three business books, one of the things about business, one of the things about entrepreneurship, one of the things about ownership, one of the things about leadership was creating a sense of loyalty. We as entrepreneurs, we as leaders are responsible for creating the environment of loyalty. You know why? Because and I remember hearing a uh, one of my one of my supervisors years ago said this and I, I believe it's so true. He said he said people don't leave jobs, they leave people. They leave managers. They leave leaders. Why? Because of the way that they treat them. Why? Why do people leave companies? Because of the way that the companies treat them. Because of the, the people in positions at companies. They could love the company. Lo- be loyal to that company. But if you have individuals in that organization that don't know how to treat people, they, they will, for other folks will leave because they are not going to be a part of toxic a toxic environment, toxic behavior, I promise you. So as an entrepreneur, as a leader, how are you creating loyalty within your business if you're an entrepreneur? How are you creating loyalty uh, as a leader within the staff that you work with, the staff that works with you? And even as entrepreneurs, how are you creating loyalty amongst your, your business partners? If you have partnerships, if you have collaborations, even in the sponsorships, how are you creating loyalty? One of the things that makes a great leader a great leader is that people are willing to stick with and stay with that leader because they believe in the, the mission, the message, but also they believe that the person is someone who is who has their best interest at heart, who believes in them, who sees in them something that others might not have. Where's your loyalty? And as entrepreneurs, I'm going to ask you, where's your loyalty when it comes to your employees, when it comes to those that work with you or work for you? Do you show that loyalty? Because in order to receive it, you, you've got to be willing to give it. And a lot of entrepreneurs aren't willing to give the same loyalty that they want. You hear it every day. <laughs> I hear it every day when it when they talk about the um, the NFL players and, and they talk about the um, the NBA players. Well, they have no sense of loyalty, and they have they don't they don't they don't stay with uh, one one team as long anymore. Why should they? To a certain extent, yes, I'm I'm all about loyalty. I think that you know I think the players jump around too much too. I agree with that, but at the same time, why should they? That owner, and and I used to tell my buddy this all the time when we worked together because we used to we used to get into it about you know because we worked together, and he used to, he he used to get mad and upset when when a, uh, an employee would just would would leave and quit. I said, dude, I said, why are, you, why are you getting mad at them? I said, here's the thing about lo- that, that loyalty. I said, you want them to give you two weeks notice. You want them to be loyal to you. But you would come in here on any given day and fire them on the spot. I'm not saying that it, that it wouldn't be wanted in, in, in most cases or whatever. But they've been. I've come in on a specific day. And I've been let go. 
So I said, don't expect the the loyal the same loyalty. Don't expect loyalty from them when you aren't giving it yourself. I said they have a right to. <laughs> Merlin is an at will state. They have a right to walk away just like you have a right to fire them. That is what it is. You take that good with the bad. Don't expect loyalty if you can't give loyalty. I'm going to say it again for y'all entrepreneurs and for leaders. Understand. Don't expect loyalty if you can't give loyalty. If you're not willing to be loyal to, to, to people, to your employees, to your staff, to, to, your, co- to your co-workers or even your, um, to, you know, to your business partners, don't expect them to be loyal to you. It's not going to happen. <laughs> and after he, everybody got mad at me because I'm, I'm telling you the truth, dude. So, I don't, you know, when I, when I lost an employee, that is what it is. They have a right to do that. Just like you have a right to fire them, you wasn't you wasn't upset when that it, when when you had to let go of that employee, right? They came in and you didn't give them two weeks to say, "Hey, I'm gonna let you go." So <laughs> we we as entrepreneurs got to understand that that yeah, you you want those two weeks because it benefits you, but trust and believe. The minute, the minute that an employee is is out of pocket, and I don't care, or even not been out of pocket, because I've seen and I've been a part of where they don't like you and they want to get rid of you. And, and, and I'll say that I know that there are companies that I've worked for. They ain't have no loyalty towards me. I was just somebody in there getting a paycheck. Somebody to be able to complete the task and assignments that they needed to get completed, you know, that they needed to get completed from me. So, so we got to be careful with this loyalty thing too. Loyalty should flow both ways. Loyalty must flow both ways. And I know there may be some folks that don't, some entrepreneurs and some leaders that don't like it. What I have to say about it, but that that is the truth. And then even as entrepreneurs, how loyal are you to your business? I'm going to say it again. How loyal are you to your business? You say you're loyal to your business, but you won't spend time working on your business. You say you're loyal to your business. But you won't put in that work that needs to be done in order to be able to get you to your next level. You say you're loyal to your business, but you won't take the time to get the right people in the right positions in order to be able to do the right things. You say you're loyal to your business, but you got a product that you're putting out there just to put out there. You say you're loyal to your business. But you haven't even made that follow-up phone call. You say you're loyal to your business, but you can't even show up on time. You say you're loyal to your business, but you're not willing to put in that work for your business. Yeah. It's about loyalty, y'all. How loyal are you to your business? And even as leaders, you say you're, you're loyal as a leader. But when that employee uh, is sick. Or has a family member that's that's not doing too well. Are you taking the time to ask him, hey, how you doing? How, how's the family doing? And mean it. And my buddy and I, we were talking um, the other day, and we were talking. He was talking about one of the um, one of the properties that he worked for, one of the hotels that he worked for. And he's like, man, I'm, I loved working for them. You know, the, uh, you know this particular hotel chain and he was like yeah he said because the owners they you know they they would do this they would do this for us they would do that for us they would you know um you know do different things have different um different okay different things that that would excuse me that would um give uh show employees appreciation you know and 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 it's amazing 
how loyal that employees become when you treat them with respect, right? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Treat somebody right, and they and they become loyal to you. And, and it's funny you talk about loyalty. Uh, uh, um, I watch this. Don't ask me why, but um, I get this on my on my feed, whether it's Facebook or or Instagram times two. But there's a dude down in Florida, and he trains alligators. He takes them out of the wild. And he he has a um, it's like a I don't know a, a alligator alligator farm <laughs> something like that. But he just got a whole bunch of alligators that he and he, they have shows where they where the people can get into the water with the alligators. Of course, they're surrounded in a cage. Not he's not, but but they are. Um, but they have these um, you know he has these alligator showings. But he does these these um, he he does these videos. And which is really cool, and it goes to show you about nature and everything like that. And one of the things that he says about the alligators, he says they are they are they are uh, trained, never tamed. And he understands it. He said at any moment they will kill me. At any moment they would kill him. But that you know, but um, but he says there's certain ones that he'll get into the water with, uh, of course, and everything like that. One that he I think that that they know him, but. He has a certain way of training them to to get them to be loyal to him, and he has the food. He feeds them raw raw chicken, y'all, raw chicken. But he feeds the alligators, and what I've seen, what I see of the alligators when they see him coming into the into the space where they are and everything like that, they will line up. They'll they'll line up, they'll line up because they know it's feed time. But they're loyal to him because of the food that they know that they're going to get from him. He's trained them. To know that he's going to get certain, you know, that they're going to get food if they line up. They don't get the food if they don't line up. And he goes down and he feeds them and knows that each of them by name and, and every, all each of them has a name. Now he carries a stick. He ain't stupid. He carries a stick because like I said, he said at any moment. He said they will. They would kill him if they, if, if, if they had the opportunity. He was like if he fell in the water, something, you know, yeah. They would, they would absolutely, he said they would absolutely eat him. Kill him. So he says he's always, and he's been doing it for over 15 years. So he's he's well versed, trained, and everything um, about alligators and and everything like that. Knows them very well, and and um, is very good with them. But the loyalty that they have to this man came with the way that they were treated. Now he, if he was mistreating them and beating them and doing all this that and the other, they would not have any loyalty to him. And we as humans are the same way. Why would you want to be? On a job, in a position, working for someone that mistreated you, that that didn't respect you, that um, the 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 only thing that they did for you was said here every two weeks, here's a paycheck, you know, and you had people who worked for this company that didn't have the understanding of what it means to be loyal, what it means to treat people right. And so when my buddy was talking about working for this company, and he was saying how he appreciated what, you know, the, the manner in which the, the owners and the CEOs of, of, of this company treated them, he appreciated them because they showed their employees that they were appreciated. When you show appreciation as a leader, when you show appreciation as an entrepreneur, I promise you, it's, it's the lifeline to loyalty. I'm going to say that again. (laughs) When you show your employees, when you show those that you work with, your co-workers, when you show the, those, um, uh, when you, when you show uh, your business partners, excuse me, when you show them, when you show them an appreciate, the appreciation that you have for them, it is the lifeline. It is your lifeline to loyalty. Loyalty is created when we treat each other better, as my cousins say. As my cousins Tony and Debbie say, treat, treat each other better. We've got to treat, when we treat each other better, we create loyalty. You create 
people wanting to be around you. You create people not having a problem with doing things for you. You, you don't have a problem with being there for someone when, when it's needed. And I think that that's, to me, that's a problem. That The problem that we not only have in the business world, but it's the problem that we have in this world today. And why people are so always uptight. People are so angry with each other. It's, <clears throat> it's because we don't have an appreciation for how we treat each other. We don't treat each other better. When we can grasp that concept and we can begin to think differently in how we treat people, whether it's relationship, any kind of relationship, whether it's a, a you know, romantic relationship, a business relationship, when we treat each other better, we create the lifeline of Lord. I, I talk about um, Mr. Clarence Avon all the time. He is the godfather, the, the black godfather, because uh, people have such loyalty for him because of the way that he treats people and that he treated people. So today, I want you to, in the midst of your thinking about loyalty, I want you to think about treating people better. How can I treat someone better today? In a phone call, in an email, in a project that you're getting done. If someone's working with you on a project they, and they do an outstanding job on a project, tell them. Say, hey, I really appreciate what you did um, in putting this project together or what this part of the project that you did. That really enhanced what we're doing. See how far that goes as an entrepreneur. See how far that goes as a leader. I appreciate you being here today. Or if entrepreneurs take the time, leaders take the time to ask those that work with you, that work for you, hey, how you doing? No, how you really doing? Um, you know, uh, my, my boy uh, Donald, and we were having a conversation this morning, we are talking about this this emphasis on, on men today, because today is Remand Day. Um, for y'all, y'all will get that in a minute, because um, all day today it's going to be about uplifting um, and, and placing um, an, an emphasis on appreciating men. Father's Day is coming up here in June, so today, June 1st, is, is Remand Day, and we're appreciating men. So when we appreciate people, we, we, you gain a sense of loyalty. Entrepreneurs understand this that if you treat your if you treat your employees right, if you treat your business partners right, there will be nothing that they won't do for you. They will they will run through a brick wall for you. The difference between you know lo- the loyalty you, to me, you want to be careful about why people are loyal to you too. But you want to treat them with respect and not disrespect them in any kind of way. But you want to let them know that you appreciate them and you command of them. As leaders and entrepreneurs, we're required to command of people. There's nothing wrong with that. But be respectful about it. Be respectful about it. Let them know that, that, you know, that, hey, that there's a standard that has to be adhered to. But at the same time, you know, I, I want to show you that I appreciate you. So, let's go today. It's about loyalty today. What are you doing to create loyalty in your space today? Who are you letting know that, uh, letting, that, letting know that you appreciate them? Who is it that you're letting know that, hey, you value them you value their relationship with you do that see how that turns out today it's your boy dr leroy mckenzie jr the impact builder we'll talk to y'all tomorrow when we talk some more about the 10 commands of entrepreneurship and relationship have a wonderful great day it's a beautiful day outside go get your exercise on go get your walk on i'm going to be going live throughout the day like i mentioned um, with my boy Donald Morton, we're going to be going doing a podcast and uh, shortly. So 
um, so look out for that, y'all can join us, we're going to be talking some heavy, some, some good stuff, um, that I believe that everyone needs to, to hear and, and be a part of, so we appreciate y'all, take a, keep a look out for it, um, throughout the day, um, and, and shortly with the, with the podcast that we're going to be doing, we'll talk to y'all soon, have a great, great day.